As a stay-at-home mom and homemaker, there are some non-negotiables that I have in my daily routine. So I'm going to share those with you today and how these consistencies truly are what make my days run. So first of all, as you saw, I take my supplements and drink some water right away in the morning and then I get to my stretches and my little bit of exercise. So I do about 20 to 30 minutes of stretching and exercise. I always have super tight legs in the morning, so I really work on that with um, these stretches to um, stretch my inner thighs and then I do either an arm day or a leg day and then Bible reading that is a priority it doesn't always happen when the kids are still asleep but my husband and I enjoy our quiet time of reading our Bibles together and our devotional that we have that we read once a day and then on to getting my outfit for the day so it doesn't always have to be super fancy today was just some mom jeans and an oversized sweatshirt but hey it is getting dressed and feeling more put together for the day And then breakfast prep. And yes, my hubby loves giving me love taps. And you've seen that a few times in some videos. Um, I think a priority for me and a non-negotiable is having three meals a day together. Not always does this happen. My husband works out of the home, but he owns his own business. And so he does get to come home for lunches. But we all sit down to breakfast together and we listen to a devotional or read a devotional together and just visit for the morning. And I truly love this time, quality time of three meals together. And for you, it may not be three, it might be one, but I think having that meal time together is just so important. And I think another non-negotiable is clean up after each meal. Now this works well because I am a stay at home mom, but even if you aren't, you could throw your dishes in the dishwasher before you head to work and then do that in the evening meal too. But I like to get the table cleared away and dishes put in the dishwasher or washed up and then um, kind of just reset the living room as well because it hadn't been done the night before. And I love light, especially in the winter months. I gotta open the blinds to let all that wonderful sunshine in. We all get dressed and ready for the day. So including my little boy, I get him dressed and have some giggles with him. And it's just so fun as he's growing up so quick, but it's fun to enjoy each precious little moment that I get to have with him. A simple skin and hair routine is a must for a mama of three littles. So I'm brushing my teeth, so are my little girls, then I'll get to doing their hair but I keep it very, very simple for my hair and makeup routine. I hardly ever wear foundation, I just don't. I haven't in years, probably since I was a teacher over three years ago. And so I mainly do some eye makeup, just a little bit of eye makeup, some Burt's Bees eyeliner sometimes, and then I do a brow pencil and some mascara, and sometimes I'll do a little eyeshadow but not much else. And they're all natural products. They will be in the description box for you or they're over on my Amazon store if you're interested in these products that I use. And my skin, I have found that if I use some beef tallow for my moisturizer, my breakouts are less, my skin seems more soft, and so I've converted to beef tallow over coconut oil. Coconut oil seems to clog my pores. And then I also do use just native deodorant as well. I'm not just very simple, less than five minute routine. And then of course, getting the rest of my kiddos dressed because when you have three littler ones, the oldest can get herself dressed, but the other two need a little assistance. Reheating my coffee, I don't think that's a non-negotiable. That just, that's a priority, everybody. <laughs> One or two loads of laundry a day is a must. If I don't want it to pile up on the weekends, I make sure to get a load of laundry going in the morning. That way I can either fold it in the afternoon or the evening and have my kiddos help me with that or just get it done myself. 
and then making sure to have quality time with the kids whether that be school whether that be reading whether that be playtime or all of the above so today we were working on rhyming words putting through your chin and finding things that rhyme with chin spin or things that rhyme with cheek and so just little things that are fun to do for a preschool age girl Sometimes I fold my laundry in the living room, sometimes in our bedroom. I prefer the bedroom just in case someone would happen to pop by. Upon this particular day, it had to be out in the living room because all the kiddos were out there, a little boy was playing out there, and so, you know, you just do laundry where you can. And then, like I said, play time. So that's a quality time to spend with the kids, get down on their level, and just be a kid with them. Be creative, ask them what they want to build, and do what they want to do for some time. Here's a lunch meal prep. It was just some leftover chicken from a whole chicken and we're having chicken tacos today. So again, that middle meal and being able to eat it together as a family is just really wonderful. And I like trying to do pretty balanced, nutritious meals when I can. And sometimes it requires some prep work like this meal. And sometimes it's just pull out a leftover and throw it in the oven. But we definitely use all of our leftovers when we can. Um, not saying we haven't thrown something out if it was over a week old or so, but we really truly try to work through all the leftovers and just be creative with it, throw it into a stew, recreate a chicken into quesadillas or tacos or something of that nature or a chicken soup. So just lots of good ways to use up food. All right, the lunch meal cleanup. If I don't clean up, I feel like I am a little more overwhelmed by what's left in the kitchen. So I usually also Swiffer after each meal on our floor and just get it wiped up because with littles, there's always some crumbs on the floor. And again, just get the dishes cleaned up. That doesn't always happen, but most of the time I try to do that. And then it's another non-negotiable, my quiet time and nap time for my kids. People always ask me, how do you get them to nap at the same time? Well, friends, I set a schedule. I nurse my baby at a certain time so that every three hours he has that time of nap where he goes to have nap time and quiet time with the girls. And so as a mama, being a stay-at-home mom, I think that is so important. That way we get our rest time or time to be creative, like editing and blogging for me or doing a DIY. I also get my supper prepped often during nap time as well so if you can and for me it has been a lifesaver get those kiddos to have nap and quiet time at the same time in the afternoon Having healthy snacks is a priority for me these snacks are often mine because they are um, more nutrient dense packed they're a protein bar that i made they're over on my blog at davykillian.com and they're a peanut butter protein bar i've used almond butter in there too um, any nut butter and this time i actually put in brewer's yeast to help with nursing as well so they definitely are a bar that i go to tend to go to but my kids have them too so it's just something that i prioritize because i do snack during the day and having healthy snacks is important for myself and for my kids all right another non-negotiable getting outside you guys have heard me say this many times it's winter and cold but we get outside no matter what unless it's negative 40 wind chill but it's so wonderful just to get that fresh air to rejuvenate our bodies and get outside. Another non-negotiable for me as a stay-at-home mom and wife is to create a cozy atmosphere for when my husband comes home from work. So this might be more for me, setting the candles, turning on the jazz music, but my husband knows when I have done those things that my heart is more at peace, I'm ready for him to come home, um, even if the kids are running and screaming around the house, which you don't hear that during this time, but it just really gets me more in the mood for knowing, all right, I want my heart and mind to be 
set for my husband when he comes home to serve him with a good quality meal um, and just to prioritize my health and sanity as well with creating that cozy atmosphere for the meal time. Finally, what I am sharing today is a kitchen reset. Every evening, again, you're seeing me do the dishes, is to reset my kitchen. I will clean up the dishes. I will sometimes scrub down the sink. I end up wiping the stove down, getting fresh towels and dishcloth out. I usually wait for the dishes to dry and then put them away. And on this particular night, we had a friend come over, so I had extra tea out, so I didn't want it wiped down anyways and i always just like to have it reset i will also set the table for the next day with my napkins some silverware and the cups for the kids and just make sure that is all ready for the next day because then when that morning comes and it goes quick that i can be ready with what is on the table and one less thing to have to do Hope you enjoyed coming along on my day and just hearing and seeing some of my non-negotiables that I have for a day as a stay-at-home mama.